Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to install Informatica support console. Basically, so support console is getting used for administ administrative job like uh, to monitor the services or to find out how many workflows are there, what all settings we have. So for all kind of tasks we use Informatica support console there are many features of that we can we'll see that in the second part but uh, as in this part uh, we'll see only the installation so uh, another thing is you can download this installer from informatica site itself it's available for free of cost uh, let's begin the installation uh, next 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 install it will prompt you again for second part once this gets, gets finished it's progressing so I have I'm installing that in a separate virtual machine and my Informatica is installed actually in the Linux OS so this is the IP address of my uh, Informatica machine where I have installed Informatica or the, where the Informatica repository is placed and as I said earlier it will prompt you for another installation which is started again Just click next, keep all the default values. So installation process is done. Let's open the console. So as you can see, you you will find two folders got created over here. We'll will open launch Informatica support console 2.4. Okay, this browser is not supported. So along with that installer you will find these PDF files. So you can go through these files 
for any for in case of any uh, trouble shooting or something and uh, if you if you open that file you will find uh, default user id and password which is admin and admin so once you log in you will get a screen so uh, as part of this video we are just going to create a metadata query and a connection over there and how to use this metadata query or the query option we'll see in the next part so this connection i had already created i will just remove it okay i will create and then another one add repository so i will give the connection name as orcl user is hr my password and the host name so this host name is basically the host of the repository so my repository informatica repository is installed in the linux os so my host will be this ip address 192.168 134.131 not getting copied 192.168.134.131 host port port i need to find out so just do tns ping so, so the port is 1521 and the service is orcl so port is 1521 service is orcl let's test the connection yeah the test test succeeded save the connection and click on connect so by doing that it will automatically fetch the repository so as you can see this repository orcl got populated automatically so basically orcl is the connection name but whatever repository i have under this orcl uh, connection so all remaining things got populated automatically so if you see in the metadata tables we we'll log in here char Okay, let's open this from SQL Developer.
So basically based on the connections which we have provided here so it has fetched all the information from the repository we will find out a repository table OPB repository. So this is the metadata table, one of the table which automatically got installed. We'll check the content of this. So if you can see the repository name is Bodhi Tree. We can validate that. So here the repository name is repository. So this tool is nothing, nothing but it's hitting the database based on our query and fetching that metadata information. Now, how this tab works, we'll see in the second uh, next video. Thanks for watching this video.